Hi, I'm Nesta Shingler and I'm in the front of the Catalyst and as an engineering design student I was really interested to see and understand how this building actually fits and manages its sustainability credentials. This time we're having a look at the heating, ventilation and air conditioning and how this building actually leverages these systems in order to reduce the amount of CO2 used. Mm. So this is the heating and the ventilation. Yeah, it's quite impressive, isn't it? Yeah. So because of the um, air tightness of the building, it's mechanical ventilation is required to make sure that the indoor air quality is, is, is what we want. Yeah, um, yeah. To make sure that, you know, the CO2 um, just by people and um, all the other indoor air pollutants you get, we want yeah. to extract that and make sure we've got an income of fresh air. Yeah. So like stale air out, fresh air Absolutely, in, yeah. but heat retained. Yes, yeah. exactly. And in that sense, um, the, the HVAC system has heat recovery, yeah. so it's able to capture some of that heat um, when it's extracted from the steel air and to use that to heat up some of the incoming fresh air. Okay, awesome, Ace. Um, and I know traditionally um, heating systems are usually mixed, aren't they? But is this, I know, is, is this displacement? Yeah, so um, ventilation is often mixed mode, so often with ventilation you have a mix of natural and mechanical and um, in, in the case of the catalyst it's all, it's all mechanical and mm. um, I think there had been some thoughts of, of having mixed mode with natural ventilation obviously you know we've got um, leak road to the northwest or some issues with noise and so on so yeah. it was thought it was best to have a system that combined heating and ventilation in a mechanical system yeah could you tell me a little bit more about how the floor grills work yeah so if you go into the catalyst building you'll notice there's quite a lot of um, little grills on the floor so um, fresh incoming air is coming through those grills providing heating in winter and cooling in summer um, and that fresh air comes in the steel air uh, rises and ex ex extracted through ductwork in the ceiling so the idea is to make sure that we're maintaining a comfortable healthy indoor environment where the windows don't have to be open exactly yeah <laughs> i hope you found that really interesting as much as i did and i hope you join me on the next episode to find out more about this wonderful building